<laughs> What's up? It is 12.30 on a Tuesday, which is when I normally upload videos. And I don't have anything ready for you guys. So what I'm gonna try to do today, which is something I've never done before, and that is film, edit, and upload all in one day. Things here have been a little crazy. I was out of town last weekend, and I also needed to build some new enclosures and just do some basic care. You know, the animals have to come before videos. Tarantulas and reptiles are always gonna have the first priority. But I didn't wanna leave you all hanging, so I'm gonna make this video real quick. But I still have some things that I need to get done on my list, so I'm gonna take you with me today. I gotta rehouse my m communal. I've already got the enclosure set up, but I thought you might enjoy watching me actually transfer them from their old enclosure to their new enclosure. Uh, so to start off, I've gotta get you off this tripod and, and head over here. Um, like I said, it's been a little crazy. I got this new enclosure set up. Um, what we need to do actually is I need to get, I need to get the uh, Imbalfouris from this enclosure into this enclosure. So that's all set up and ready to go. Um, if you have been following me on Instagram, you know I posted a picture uh, about a, an enclosure that I'm working on, and I've got that right over here. Uh, the video for it is gonna come out maybe Friday or next Tuesday, we'll see how it goes, but this is what the enclosure looks like. So if you have any guesses on what species I'm gonna be putting in that enclosure, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm interested to see what you all are expecting. Now let's get these guys rehoused. Now I know you're sitting there thinking to yourself, man, Richard, that is a very cool hoodie. And you're right, it is a cool hoodie. I just dropped these in my merch store on my website, thetarantulacollective.com. Now these are a high-end hoodie. As you can see, this is, is a champion brand hoodie. It's like the thickest, heaviest hoodie I think I've ever worn. It's very high quality and they're very unique. This is like a tie-dye, kind of like bleached black kind of look and, and no two are the same. They're all done by hand. And it's got the Tarantula Collective logo embroidered on the chest. I also have another version that's available as well. So head to my website, check it out if you want to get one of these for yourself because fall is coming very quickly. Now let's get these tarantulas rehoused. Now the enclosure I have right here is the Exoterra Mini Low, no, Small Low. It's 18 by 18 by 12, whichever one that is. And this is not sponsored, they, they did not send this to me. In fact, I think I picked it up while I was in uh, Virginia Beach at the Fear Not Tarantulas grand opening. Tanya hooked me up with it, so it's it's gonna work perfect for this communal. Now I only have three Embalfouris in my current communal, but they're they're outgrowing it, they need to, they need some more space. And I have a single Embalfouri and a 12 by 12 by 12 over on the, uh, behind the camera there. But I've read, I've, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about mixing tarantulas from different enclosures to make it a communal, uh, especially once they've reached a certain size. And it might work, but I, I don't wanna risk it. So I'm just gonna move those three in here and let them do their thing. So let's uh, let's let's get to it. So I've got tongs, I've got straws, I've got multiple catch cups. I think we're ready to do this. Oh, I really hate destroying all their webbing. I'm gonna start just kinda pulling out some of these decorations. Man, there's a lot of molts in there. Easier said than done, that's for sure. Ooh, okay. Getting a little feisty. I see two of them at least. This is, this is not working. <laughs> I 
that out there. Got one. <laughs> Got the first one here. I'll just set that right there. Oh no! All right, we got two of them. Uh, we'll get the two in the enclosure. We'll come back and get the third in a minute. Now the way I set this up is I use some of that excavator clay to make kind of a mound with some tunnels in it. And if you're curious, I actually made a video, I'll link at the end of this video, where I break down kind of a step-by-step -step guide on how I use that in enclosures. It's for a Scorpion enclosure, but it's essentially the exact same process, so I didn't bother filming it again and just repeating myself. Let's get the first one in here. All right, it is in. Now number two. Oh, wait, that one's trying to get back out. Get back in there. No, 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 no. Oh, back in. Oh my God, this is this is ending terribly. No, oh, no, get back in there. All right. <laughs> number two's in there. I'm gonna close this up while we get number three. I see it. Got it. All right, we'll put number three in. Come on out of there. All right, all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this rehousing video and kind of this vlog style. Well, if you want to see the video I referenced earlier about using excavator clay in your enclosures, I'll link that right here. And if you want to catch up on all the past episodes of Tarantula Tuesday, I'll link that playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Pick yourself up a Tarantula Collective hoodie, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>